Shiloh, the lonely laundry lass. And of course, Dookie, the diaper boy. These were puppets shown to us tonight on the dirt sheet by The Miz. Now, I really don't think, and I'm not going to say for one second, that these are real Firefly Funhouse puppets. Obviously, this is a skit by Miz and Morrison to gain viewer attention. And I think it worked. Social media went ablaze with the idea. But we need to think very carefully here at who invented those puppets. Because it was the Miz. The Miz is the one who introduced them. The Miz is the one who said what they were, who they were, etc. And, well, let's be honest. They weren't the only puppets he showed us. He showed us Mandy Quinn Rose. Now, obviously, that's a play on Mannequin and Mandy Rose. But why Mandy Quinn Rose? And it's really sparked my interest because there's so many WWE superstars that Miz could have done this for. Why Mandy Quinn Rose? Now, obviously, following Money in the Bank, the match we all expected to see at Backlash 2020 was The Fiend, Bray Wyatt versus Braun Strowman for the Universal Championship. It kind of made sense. It kind of exactly what we thought. The minute Money in the Bank match finished, we assumed that this would happen. Well, it's not going to. Tonight on SmackDown, we actually had a singles match between Miz and um, Braun Strowman. And then after the match, John Morrison challenged Braun to a handicap match at Backlash. Now, I understand that the internet's completely mixed with this and a lot of people don't like it and I completely understand why. But I think you've got to remember what was actually being said when they was talking. Miz and Morrison were putting over Bray saying that Bray's not finished with you. And I don't think this match is going to be an upset. I don't think Miz and Morrison will win the match. It would be an interesting story to talk about co-champions and things like that. It's something WWE has done before with like lay call and stuff. So it's possible. I don't think so. I think this match is simply to extend Braun's championship run. Also, WWE do not have an end date in sight as to when everything in the world is going to go back to normal. So if things have to be extended a little bit, this is the kind of match that will fill a pay-per-view. And then the next one, maybe we'll get something a bit bigger. We'll get to that in a minute. And as I said, it's important to remember Miz created these puppets. This is Miz's Firefly Funhouse. Now, OK, the other two are just complete absolute jokes that the Miz thought was funny. But maybe something subconsciously told him to use Mandy Quinn Rose. Maybe it's a clue. Because we have theorised on the channel many times that the Fiend's opponents kind of have this weird coincidences within them. After they lose to the Fiend, they kind of gain something from the Fiend. They kind of gain some kind of darkness and over time, they change. We've seen it with Finn Balor with the Prince. We've seen it with Seth Rollins with the Messiah. Now he's getting even darker. Daniel Bryan hasn't happened yet. But... Don't forget, Daniel Bryan wasn't finished with The Fiend before The Miz. The Miz actually had a match with Funhouse Bray at TLC. Now, we never included Miz in these videos because Miz was never an opponent of The Fiend. He was an opponent of the Funhouse Bray. But we all know Funhouse Bray and The Fiend are the exact same person. And obviously, Money in the Bank, we saw Braun Strowman use that sheep's mask, the black mask, to kind of muck Bray Wyatt and make Bray Wyatt think that he was, you know, coming back to the Wyatt family and basically then picked up Bray, slammed him down, pinned him and defeated him and basically wronged Bray Wyatt. The final moments of their match saw Bray Wyatt looking on to Braun Strowman as the fiend flickered on our screens, indicating the fiend has been awoken and now there's a wrong... The Fiend needs to come and right that wrong for Bray Wyatt. So I do think this match will happen. But back to Mandy Quinn Rose, who we first saw tonight on SmackDown. We all know what Mandy Rose is doing at the moment. Of course, she's in a relationship with Otis, who is Mr. Money in the Bank. And it's something very interesting here because we all know that eventually Otis is going to cash in that briefcase um, successfully or unsuccessfully, it will happen. So why not at Backlash? 
Why could Otis not cash in at Backlash? It makes sense. Otis right now is very hot. The internet absolutely love him. But why could he not do it after The Fiend attacks? If The Fiend attacked Braun during or after the match, that would be Bray Wyatt's big return, I suppose. WWE hasn't seen him since Money in the Bank. So, obviously, Miz and Morrison are just stop gaps for Braun. Whether, you know, he wins that match or not, have The Fiend attack. That means that Miz's coincidence, so to speak, is that maybe he has something inside of him that spreads the message of Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt right now is fixated on no other than Braun Strowman. So it would make perfect sense for Miz to have this sort of flash in his head of what's going to happen. We know time is irrelevant in the Funhouse. So maybe Funhouse Bray's sort of power is that he can see the future a little bit and Miz, well, maybe he got a little bit of that. And maybe that's where the Mandy Quinn Rose doll actually came from. I mean, I wouldn't mind them putting the Universal Championship on Otis. It would make sense because he is hot. Not only that, but then it means that Braun versus The Fiend is not for the Universal Championship. And I think that's a really distinguishing thing here because... Because fans are really worried that if The Fiend got the Universal Championship back, that they'd only ruin it again. And maybe they don't have that plan to put the belt on him, but it's a way to get The Fiend over Braun. And I think this match will 100% happen. I don't know what the pay-per-view is after Backlash. I think WWE's pay-per-view schedule is up in the air at the moment, and they are just sort of putting things on when and if they can. So... It will be interesting, but I do think this will happen probably at the next pay-per-view in July. So keep your eyes open for Backlash. I think it's definitely worth watching. I think we will see The Fiend. We will see a fun house at least. We'll see something like that that sets up the next match. And I really do like the idea that The Miz sort of sat down and thought, okay, right, we're going to muck the fun house puppets. Here's this laundry lass. Here's a diaper boy. And all of a sudden, maybe he had this flash in his head that created the Mandy Quinn Rose. And that that flash basically was him sort of tuning into whatever craziness Bray Wyatt has when he created his funhouse. Remember, the funhouse of Bray Wyatt was created on his pain and his thoughts. It's very interesting. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace!